a small crank hammer. It's a size 14 grub hook. Now the thread I'm going to be using is a Uni 8O black. I just simply start at the eye, wind down probably I would say 5 or 6 mil on the shank here and then bring it halfway back up. Now for the wing post I'm using a white antron. Now it's simple, all you do is bring it underneath catch it, hold the tips, bring the thread round forming the wing. Very easy. It doesn't slap on you this. Not as bulky. That's the way I like to use it. Now for the, the hackle itself I'm using a saddle hackle grizzle dyed a nice yellow. All I do is offer it to the side, stems at the back, couple of turns to hold. Now what I'm going to do here is post both wing and hackle, meaning bring the thread turns up the antron and bring it back down. It's very easy to do. Then bring the thread to the back, forming that forming body. Now there's a couple of ways I like to do it. Tend to your best to um, usually to have a smooth body. It does penetrate the surface better. But I've caught that many fish with a dud bodied crank hammer that I'm quite happy to use it. Now you can. This is a the way I had years ago that I tied the fly. Take a very soft dubbin, much like rabbit or something like that. In this case, it's a a nice yellow olive. Just run it down. Nice and tight, forming your body as you go. Now you get to about let me drop here, this point here, you take away your dubbing. Then using the thread, I use the thread as a rib, bring it back up. And a wee tiny bit of dubbing at the top. the balance of fly. Yeah. Now you could use peacock kettle like you would do in the clink camera or you could use a dubbin, it's up to you. I'm going to just use some peacock kettle here dyed black. Now I've got two strands and we tie it in by the tip. Take the thread down to the front towards the eye and then run your Peacock hero forming the thorax in between the wing. Now you could do a figure eight through it like this to this point here. Tie it off. Now you'll need to protect the peacock hero. Now, normally, what I would simply do is just do a figure eight with the thread through, and that should be enough to protect it. Then it's just a matter of getting your hackle. And doing one at a turn, and then the next one should be underneath that one, and so on, all the way down. Because you did post the hackle up the wing, that allows you to bring the hackle down. There's a couple of ways you could actually tie this off. You could take the thread into the, the hackle itself. But what I like to do, I prefer to do this, is to bring the hackle, this side of the thread, bring the thread up at the back, using the hackle to stop the thread slipping. I take it in line with the eye and do a turn like this. Repeat this and then a turn to lock. You may catch one or two fibres but don't worry they're easy, you can just trim them away. I just like doing it that way. It's a bit of a mess just now. You can wipe this off. To varnish all you have to do is Touch the varnish onto the thread. Bring anything in the road, out the road, just take it away. This point, bring everything back up. Happy with that. Oh, then what the way to, to trim the wing is to trim it in line with the back of the hook here. Now you can trim it slightly at an angle to give it more of a taper look. Like this, slow. 
when your wing pops up like this. I mean, you can come in up here to curve saddles and make it a bit fancier if you want. Just come in at an angle and take it away, taper it. Pull away any of the fibres. Gives it more a wing shape, but that is up to yourself. And there you are. Smoke like that.